Hi everyone, my name is Renee McLennan. Um, this week our council set our budget for the coming financial year and I just wanted to give some information about what that means for you and for our community. So council's been working on this budget for a number of months now and it's been a particularly challenging year for budgeting um, with COVID-19 and the impact that's had not only on our community but also on our local government. Um, we're really aware of the impact it's had on many in our community um, and their financial situation so we've really tried to take that into account as we've planned for the coming year and to get a balance between providing the services um, and the supports that our community need without um, overburdening our community um, with their rates obligations. So we've took the opportunity to, to reassess and reprioritise um, the projects that we deliver this year and funded the ones that we believe will deliver the most economic, social and environmental um, benefit to our community. So there's quite a number of um, projects that we have funded this year in addition to the usual services and facilities that our community is used to enjoying. Um, one of them is our town centre master planning process and this is really key to the economic um, recovery of our community. We know that there's a lot of potential in our town centre but that there needs to be some work to done to realise that potential. So over the coming months we're going to be engaging with our local community but also with other key stakeholders to help us develop a really clear plan for our town centre to bring that vitality and the people that we need to support our local businesses but also looking for partners that can help us to deliver on that plan so it's not just something that sits on the shelf but it's something that um, we can see brought to life over the coming years. Um, we also funded three new playgrounds in our town. So one of them is the Sandy Beach Reserve Nature Playground um, that has been in the pipeline for some time now. And that's also going to include a new toilet block which is much needed down at that space. So a really great opportunity for local families to come and to enjoy um, all that our natural areas and our river has to offer. Um, I'm in Palmerston Reserve at the moment. This is one of our key parks for our town centre. So especially as we have more people living and working in our town centre, these open spaces become even more valuable. So we're going to invest in upgrading the facilities here. There'll be some new nature play under the trees, some water, um, water fountain facilities, new paths and access for prams, just to make this space more usable for locals and people who are visiting our town centre. And also in, um, in Padbury Reserve in Eden Hill, the playground there had reached the end of its life and we've spent some time consulting with the families and um, the locals around that area and they've let us know what they want in that space. So there's, there's funding allocated to deliver a new play space in that park as well, which is fantastic news for the families and locals there. There's been a lot of discussion in recent months about our river and the infrastructure that we have along our river. So we're investing um, now in a really comprehensive assessment of our foreshore assets. So the health of the river, the erosion, and also the infrastructure that we have in place along our river um, and what, what's needed and what our community wants to prioritise. So again, over the next few months, there'll be an opportunity for you to, to be involved, to let us know what you think are a priority for our riverfront parks, including Point Reserve, where we recently had the jetties um, removed. Um, so look out for that opportunity to be involved. Really exciting is the Mary Crescent Reserve Our Park Our Place project which is looking at the transformation of the wetlands there uh, and making it a place where people can really connect with nature. So that project is included in our budget and again we're in the middle of our consultation around that where you can have your say about what that space might look like into the future. Of course our underground power project um, is included in the budget and that will start rolling out in the coming months in Eden Hill and northern parts of Bassendine. Um, we've also budgeted for the planning phase of our Living Stream project. So the first one that is kicking off is the, the drain between 2nd and 4th Avenue in um, the uh, north of the train line. So we're going to be doing the detailed designs for that Living Stream project this year and then the following year we're hoping to deliver that for the community. So a really great way to utilise those, those drains which at the moment are fenced off from our community and not really accessible. Uh, the Spillway and Success Hill Reserve is a project that we've also prioritised. At the moment there's a temporary drainage structure in there to prevent further erosion to the river bank. Um, we're going to be completing the detailed designs and constructing the new spillway there so that we can protect the river um, foreshore in that location. 
Um, we're again investing in a thousand new shade trees this year. We want to continue to green our, our neighbourhoods. Um, with the underground power project going in, it's a great opportunity for us to plant trees along those streets, but also plant trees in the um, around our playgrounds so that they're provided with additional shade um, and other parts of our suburb. So um, really pleased that we're able to continue to invest in trees so that um, not only do we have improved amenity, but we're doing great things for the environment. Um, Jubilee Reserve, um, we're going to be putting together a new master plan for the facilities there. So the, the facilities are outdated at the moment and this is a great opportunity for us to rethink how we use that space to provide facility where community groups can come together and share and better utilise um, uh, the facilities in that location. We've also in, um, provided funding for some local community events. So everything was put on hold um, during COVID-19, but now that the restrictions have eased, our community can come back together, reconnect. Um, so there's funding for the Old Perth Road markets to commence again in August, and some other smaller um, local community events that can encourage that community connection um, will be prioritised as part of this year's budget. Now, you may be aware that um, rates are calculated based upon the gross rental value of your property. So that gross rental value is determined by the state government's valuer general and, and they're revalued every three years. So this year is a revaluation year. So everybody's property will have been revalued. Um, so there's going to be a bit of a redistribution of um, the rates for different households in our town. So council, council did make a decision to freeze our overall rates income for this year in acknowledgement of the effects of COVID-19. So we won't be receiving any more money in rates income this year compared to last year. It's kept exactly the same to try and minimise the financial burden on our community. But the revaluation process that the state government has undertaken will mean that there's some redistribution. So some people's rates notices will go down while others will go up. So the result of the revaluation means that about two thirds of people's rates will go down a small amount, um, but about a third of people's will stay the same or go up. Um, those that do go up, the vast majority of them are relatively small, um, less than $100. Um, but if you have any questions about how your rates are calculated, please do get in touch with the town staff. Um, sometimes it can be a bit complicated and, and difficult to understand um, when the property, your property value has gone down to see an increase in your rates notice but we're very happy to, to work um, through that with you. Um, rates notices will be appearing in your letterboxes from mid-August. Um, we have put some policies in place though to make sure that anyone who is struggling has support available to help work through um, the ways in which um, your repayments can be made in a manner that doesn't put you under too much financial pressure. So we don't want people to be overly burdened. So I really encourage you to reach out um, if you're in a situation where your, your rates are going to be putting a lot of pressure on your families. And finally, I just want to thank everybody for the contribution that you make to our town through your rates. We do appreciate that the money we collect is money that you have worked hard to earn um, and that it does contribute to um, all of the services and facilities that are provided to make our town an even better place. So thank you for your contribution. It really does make a difference for making our town um, the wonderful place that it is for us all to, to live and work in.